Welcome to another Fast Tips video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to calculate your U.S. federal income tax with Microsoft Access using the progressive tax brackets. Now, a little bit earlier, I did the same exact video using Microsoft Excel. And in that video, I explain how the whole tax system works. We went over the tax brackets. I show you how to calculate all that stuff. So go watch this video if you're not sure how a progressive tax system works. There is a link to the video right there. I'll put it in the description down below the video window so you can go click on it and go watch that and then come on back. Okay, so here I am in my Access database. I'm not going to make you guys watch me rebuild the table. This is all simple stuff. So we got the tax bracket table that has our income level, has the tax base pay that you pay, Okay, and then the tax rate. And I've added a tax ID because the way we're going to simulate the X lookup is by using DMAX and DLOOKUP. So if you don't know how to use DMAX, go watch this video. And of course, DMAX is a cousin of DLOOKUP. So if you've never done that either, go watch DLOOKUP first, then go watch DMAX, then come back here. Okay, so if we take a look at the design real quick, we got tax bracket, auto number, income level currency, base tax paid currency, and then tax rate is a number formatted as a percent. And then you get, where is it? This stuff. Okay, now this is nice because this is very easy to update in the future. If you want to change it for the following year, you just come in here, type in the new data, and you don't have to recode anything. All right, now for the actual amount of taxes, save changes, share. I've got a customer table, and in that customer table, I've got a currency value called credit limit. So we're just going to use that to simulate their income, okay? So we're going to make a query. All right, here's my query, tax lookup queue. We've got the income amount. That's that credit limit value from the other table. I'm just substituting that for the actual income. Then we have the income level. We're going to look that up in the tax bracket table, right? Here's the tax bracket table, Okay. So what I want to say is, I want to take a look at that number. Let's find 32,000 in this list. Okay, let me put these side by side so you can see them both. Okay. What I want to say is, I want to find the largest value in this column that is smaller than that. Okay? So to find the largest value, we're going to use Dmax. So I want to Dmax the income level that's less than this amount, all right? And that's gonna bring back that value right there, 10,276, okay? Now, knowing 10,276, I can say, okay, what bracket is that? Well, we're gonna bring back the ID then, right there. That brings back ID two. And now that I know ID two, the other two values are simple D lookups, right? That's the tax base paid, and then the tax rate is right there. And then I can do my math and calculate the tax due. All right. The tough part is figuring out that income level. So let's take a peek. Let's see how, that, how that's designed. All right. Income is real simple. That's just an alias field. I'm calling credit limit income for this example. All right. That's whatever your dollar value is representing your total income. Now, figuring out the income level, that's the tricky part. Okay. This is where the DMAX comes in. This says... Income level is going to be Dmax. Find me the largest value. Find me the largest income level in the tax bracket table where that income level is less than the income value. Okay, so the income value is 32,000. So find me the largest value from this column that's less than 32,000. And that happens to be 10,276. See, the largest value less than the number we're looking up. It's essentially what XLOOKUP does. Okay, now that I know 10276 is my target income level, I know I'm on that level there, so now I can go get the tax bracket. Okay, tax bracket ID is easy now. That's just DLOOKUP, the tax bracket ID from that table where the income level equals the income level I just found, 10276. That'll bring back the two, right? There's the two. I know I'm in bracket two. And now, base packs, base packs? <laughs> base tax paid 
and tax rate are simple D lookups with that ID. We have the ID now, right? Now that we got the ID, it's simple. Look up the base tax paid from that table where the bracket ID is the ID we just found. And the same thing for the tax rate. Okay. And now we got all that. Now we can calculate the actual tax due, which is round to zero decimal places. The base tax paid plus income minus the income level to give us that difference times the tax rate. And there you go. Once you know how to figure out what level you're in, what, what your tax bracket ID is using DMAX, the rest of it's easy. Now, this shows you how to calculate a single tax bracket system, which is the year 2022 for single filers. If you want to learn how to do it for other types of filers, I'll cover that in the extended cut for the members. All right, for the members only, Silver members and up, get access to all my extended cut videos for fast tips and for tech help. We'll add a filing type field where one will be single, two will be married filing joint, three will be separate, and four will be head of household. And using the same technique I'm going to show you for this, you could also add the tax year in there if you want to have the big table so you got every tax year. If you're a CPA, I can see that being handy, handy right? But uh, yeah, we'll cover this from the members. And uh, if you're not a member, uh, now's a great time to join. It's cheap. It's not, it's not expensive at all. And uh, you help me out, and I make more videos for you. All right? Okay. Hope you learned something. See you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click on the bell icon to select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Make sure you click the show more link down below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Even if you don't want to become a member, feel free to donate to my tip jar. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got puppies to feed. How do you become a member? Click on the Join button below the video. After you click the Join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class each month, and more. Gold members get access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use. You'll also get a higher priority if you decide to submit any tech help questions to me, and you'll get one free expert class each month after you finish the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks, plus even higher priority for tech help questions, access to all of my full beginner courses for every subject, and one free developer class each month after you finish the expert classes. These are the full-length courses found on my website, not just for access to. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, and lots more. You can now become a Diamond sponsor and have your name or company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown in each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are gonna keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you have not yet tried my free access level one course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access. It's over four hours long, and I just updated it for 2021. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below that you can click on. And also, if you like level one, level two is just $1. Yep, that's all, $1. And it's free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level, even supporters. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page on my website, and you can send me your question there. While you're on my site, feel free to stop by the Access Forum. Lots of good conversations happening there. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Ross. Thank you for watching this tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something today. I'll see you again soon.